Yo yo yo, what is going on you guys, it's your boy Quick. So, and today I got another Clash Royale video. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all the best bandit deck ever in there, ever created in history, alright? The bandit is just flawless, but if you use this deck, it's even more, more flawless, alright? It's it's a beautiful killing machine, alright? So without no more further ado, um, here is the deck. Copy that down, pause the video, and you can replace the rocket. With a cannon, I mean with a fireball or with a rage spell or freeze spell, that's just up to you. That's the only thing I would suggest changing if you would actually like to switch something up. I just use the rocket just because it can come in clutch. Uh, you know, I'm very high level. Sometimes you get stuck with some crappy ass XP on the other enemies. So yeah, let's just get right into a life battle right here. Let's get right into it. As I may know, I'm actually not using my phone right now. I already recorded this, but you know, I'm gonna go with y'all here and see what I did. So, there he puts that on top. I'm gonna rocket that right off the bat. I don't want him to have a, a advantage, I guess, in a way. Yeah, an advantage. So, here we got the hog and we got the minion horde right there. Not the minion horde, but the goblin, goblin gang. And I usually like to push up with both of them, you know, just because it can do like a counter, uh, a good counter, like. Uh, I don't know. I guess the the goblins really distract the you know the troops when he's gonna try to defend. So I just like to do it here. Let's see what I do. I put the goblin gang right there, and I'm gonna push up with the hog rider right there, as I said. And I put a ice spirit so I can get um you know that little bit of a freeze. But he logs it, so unfortunately we got a few hits right there. Uh, nothing to worry about too much. So it's pretty good damage there, as you can see. He did put a golem. There on my right side, I'm gonna put down the bandit right there to do a little counter push. Put some archers because we don't want to waste that much. And here we're gonna put a uh, what's it called again? I keep forgetting the goblin gang again. And look at that push right there with the golden dust boom right there and gets that oh my lumberjack right off the bat. That clutch right there was amazing. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Here, let's see what we do next. Um, okay, so we're gonna try to rocket that uh, you know, pump. Electric pump right there, collector. But we cannot. We don't want to hit the big guy. You know, the big guy got the big arms. You know, the big pump. Uh, so we don't want to do that. So what we're gonna do is gonna push with both the elite barbarians and the bandit. This is good counter uh, counter attack. It'll be pretty much even better if you had a zap ready to go. You know, but in hand he doesn't have a um, skeleton army. So yeah, we're good. As you see, it kind of in his favor. Kind of he wasted a bit of elixir there. Um, Nevertheless, he still has an electric collector right there. We're gonna put a goblin gang right there. Someone's voting for me. Let's get it, your boy. I'm just doing this MLG commentary. You already know how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna push the ice barrier with a hog. There we go. That's gonna allow us to do a bit of a distraction right there with that freeze. Look at that. We're gonna zap that there so we can get him an extra hit. And boom, there we got first tower, guys. First tower. There we go. We got full electric right here. We're gonna push the same way we did earlier. With the the bandit and the you know elite barbarians, we're gonna put an ice ice spirit so we can slow down that golem right there. Make sure he doesn't not get any hits in our tower. Then we're gonna push with the archers and the go um, goblin goblin gang, doing some little bit of distraction there. We're gonna put the elite barbarians right there, taking down that lumberjack. We still got two air uh, air air uh, troops in the air, so we took one down. That dragon is seems not to do that much damage. So there we go guys, that wraps it up, um, that basically shows you how I use my deck and I would suggest y'all would use it the same way because that's the way it seems to work for me and just gain a bunch of trophies. Yes, I'm at 3,111 trophies as of now, but you know, um, I haven't been playing in a while so I lost a bit of trophies, you know, uh, so I'm gonna try to get back there. And you know, I'll be, be posting some more Clash Royale videos for y'all, so don't even worry about it. So here we're looking at another replay where he put the archers on that left side. He's gonna push with that balloon and that wizard. So that kind of messes up. He got an advantage there. And we're not gonna be able to do nothing. So what I'm gonna do is just push that left side, I believe. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, there's a rice gum video. Ooh, some heat dropping some L's on people now, man. I see him, I see him. My boy Rice Gum right there. Let's see. So he does get our tower. And he does get a big caucus, so we're gonna push, like I said, with the hog and um, with the minion horde. And then we got the ice bear. And look, this is gonna mess him up, guys. Look at that. If you play it that way, that way, 
That's how you're gonna win, guys. That's that's how you win with this deck. People underestimate the bandit too much, you know. They think, oh wow, he's, she's not good. She really is good, guys. I still use it up to this point, and I know how to flawlessly use her. So if you use her like I do, guys, trust me, you will get a bunch of trophies. Don't even worry about it. Basically, what I did was put the bandit left side and then the elite barbarians right beyond his border of his side. So we did get a bit of a hit, not too much, but some that could, uh, you know, technically help us. And he, there he is. He's just laughing. So we're gonna make him eat uh, our dust. We're gonna make him eat our dust. So there we do that uh, thing again. Exact same strategy that we did with the elite barbarians and the bandit like, just a few seconds ago. But then he does have that tornado in hand. Does look like we're gonna be putting some archers left side, I believe. Most likely will be the best play. So yeah, we're gonna put those archers the left side right there. There we go. Okay, so he does put down that balloon, but we're gonna put that ice spirit. And the ice spirit actually went down. I put it too late. Look at that bomb. It's gonna go off. Boom! Wow, that did so much, so much damage, guys. That did so much damage. Holy crap! There we're gonna get that bandit. Bandit versus bandit action. Yeah, boy. So there we go, that band is going to go down easily, one hit. Here we're going to do the counter push with the hog and the goblin gang again. And unfortunately we're not going to be able to hit shit again. That tornado just gets us every time. And I, he wants to last, so I'm going to give him some work guys. Look at that right there, we're going to push with the elite barbarians with the bandit again. Uh, and this is the technique I like, this is the best technique for the bandit, look at that. Look at that! Look at this hourglass, swoosh! And then I get too cocky and rocket it, its tower because as I told you, it that that rocket, guys. I'm telling you, it comes in hand. It comes in hand. I've been experimenting the most out of it. The first thing I started using was the rage spell, and that was pretty decent. You can try it, and then I switched it to this, and it does come in clutch. So yeah, there we go, guys. Another clutch. So that's just to show you another attack. Um. This is it for this video guys, so if y'all don't see any more decks with any other troops And possibly if I don't have them, uh, you know, maybe I get them soon and I'll do one Just let me know in the comment section down below what y'all want to see for some Clash Royale or Clash of Clans Because as I said, I did buy something new that will improve my phone video So I'm posting a lot of phone videos a bit more recently now So yeah, make sure to have an awesome day, make sure to stay quicksified, and peace out